Hi everyone, thank you so much for joining me. So in today's video, I'm going to be showing you this really glamorous, glamorous purple smoky eye implemented with a peachy, glossy lip. I'm gonna show you all the tips and tricks to really make the most of that pigment, to make it really nice and easy. And if you want to learn more makeup tricks, do follow my channel, subscribe. I'd love to have you here. I'm a makeup artist of 16 years and I love to share all my tips and tricks with you. So let me know how you get on and let's get to it. I'm gonna start off with a new product to me actually. I don't think I've tried this yet and I bought it a while ago. Nope. Life of a makeup artist and content creator. This is the Mario Master Eye Prep Set. So you use these two to correct the colour on the eye, then this powder to set it. There we go, get your words out, Lisa. So I'm just gonna try it out and then just do my usual makeup on top. So let's just blendy, blendy, blendy. Just kind of brighten the eye a little bit. I do struggle with really oily eyelids. You can see it's really brightened, doesn't it? So let's see how this goes and how it works. It's quite a dry consistency. So think of like the Laura Mercier concealer. Almost feels like that. I do find that on me personally, concealers don't work as a primer. I know on some people they do, on me they do not because they just crease instantly. This is where I try things out so you don't have to. <laughs> I love how I'm like doing this like expert video using a product I've never tried. But then that's half the fun of it, isn't it? Giving you my first impressions of stuff, so. I like to take a little bit around the eye underneath and I'm going to go in with the powder, do a generous layer of the powder just to kind of really make that all set. So, et voila. Okay, so with my next step, you're going to be like, well, why did you do that? Well, I just wanted to see how well that worked with the powder. Okay, so next I'm going to go in with the Mario of a theme here i do think his products are fantastic and i think when a makeup artist creates a line you know it's they're putting their name to it that's a big deal and he's a phenomenal makeup artist the mario pencil in master pigment pro in the perfect brown i'm actually going to start with this in the waterline because what i'm going to do on the eye oh my gosh i am actually using pretty much all mario products for this look i've just thought of that that like wasn't really planned but it just it sort of it hit me just now. Inspiration struck me. I hadn't twigged that. Okay, so this looks like a hot mess at the moment. I've really drawn everything all around the eye. And what's nice about these is they are creamy and then they set a little bit, but, 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 but they give you a bit of time to do so. They're just so soft and the colours are so spot on as well. So I'm going to take a eyeshadow sort of blending brush, this is the Katie Jane Hughes 11 brush with Spectrum, onto what we've done. This is going to create a bit of a base for my smoky eye and I'll explain why in just a momo once I've blended it all out. So it's quite an old, see how that blending just makes such a difference to make the eyes look really nice and big. What was that? Rolled around you on the floor, it'd be down Chris chatting to the cats downstairs, cute. <laughs> blend, 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 blend. Whenever I do the lower lash line, I tend to sort of just tilt my head down a little bit. So as I said, this is blowing out that colour. I'm not really doing a specific, I'm just sort of following the shape of my natural eyes. I'm not really looking to kind of change the shape. I'm just going with it. I think I just said that. <laughs> Sorry, I'm repeating myself. So. What this does is it's going to provide me with a bit of a good base for the eyeshadow to stick. And these are really glorious pigments already. This is the Mario um, Glam Quads. This is Rosy Glam. And I'm actually going to put the a bit of this transition shade here. These don't have names. So that's RG3 or is it 4? You only read the back of something like that. You're like, well, which way is it? Is it as... Is it reflecting how the pan is like backwards or how I'm looking at it? Do you know what I mean? Make that clear, folks. People like me that just don't understand right. So I'm going to relax my face because I don't see a lot of my hood, my lid, when my eye is open. And I'm just going to tuck it in. Tuck it in there. And these are so well pigmented. 
And if you are a pro makeup artist, you can get a discount with Mario himself on his website. Just fill in a really easy form and they got back to me so quickly. You have to obviously send some form of proof. It's well worth it. The products are fantastic. And obviously he specialises in kind of red carpet glam and all that kind of stuff. So it's bloody brilliant. I'm just going to use that brush that I did the lid with earlier, the lid prep, but just to soften that edge there. Delicious. I'm taking it a bit underneath. Yeah, so as I said, that's going to be my transition colour. Then I'm just going to do a whole block of colour. I am going to use a blending brush to actually apply it, so I'm just going to wiggle a bit of my brush on there and tap the excess to avoid any drop down and look. Oh, yummo. And the reason why I did that transition colour first is so I have something to for it to blend into. And it looks quite different how it's got this like kind of duochrome-ness to it. So it's a bit more blue than I thought it would be, but that's fine. I'm actually going to take a bit of that lighter, sort of more cranberry purple, but that, yeah, like more on the inner corner, just to sort of make it a bit more an ombre and sort of turn that like what am i trying to say just give it a bit more purpleness rather than blueness it's adding a bit more red like a berry kind of purple to it all to sort of just switch it up a little bit i'm just using this brush really lightly just to continue to smooth those edges and I'm going to go in with just a smaller eyeshadow blending brush to do the underneath. I'm going to start with that lighter colour first, that lighter purple and just sort of trace. And if you've got similar eye colour to me, whether like a browny kind of haze or this sort of the red pigments in this really make my eyes very golden. I'm just going with the darker colour, sort of join everything that's going on in that outer corner there. And as a real finishing touch for the eye makeup anyway, I'm going to just go in with the matte colour. And this is going to act, well, it's going to mattify the outer corner. It's going to give me a bit more depth and just change the texture but not the colour so much because it's quite a sheer layer of colour. I think just to glitz up a bit more, I'm going to get a bit of that silvery tone. And just pop that right, like, on the lid there just like a little flash of brightness so you can see how I don't have a lot of open lid you can visibly see so this just gives it a bit of openness on that area. Let's start pretty then I can get my concealer brush and just really smooth and blend but you don't want to put like fresh concealer on there because that will act like a rubber and what it'll also do is it could cause your concealer, your yeah, your concealer and your makeup to really merge together, and that'll cause it to travel down and sort of bleed a little bit. And we don't want them bleeding. They say not crime scene. Take that clean brush and just I've gone over that a little bit too much. So this bigger brush will just give me a softer edge. So I'm really holding it lightly, almost tapping it. Yeah, there we go. Isn't that lovely? And this kind of makeup would look so good with, you know, you could wear this with a green outfit, it would look fab, or even like denim, uh, navy would look really good. Go with so much, or even if you're wearing like a really burnt coral or like orangey colour, this would look amazing. So I'm just curling my lashes. I've got another brand new product that I've not even looked. I did a Tilbury order. Oh, they got a new bronzer out and I really want to try it. Um, new mascara, sleep pillow talk, but in a brown. Hello, exciting. So, it's a really lovely shade of brown. Oh, it's much more like plummy than I thought. But let's go in and pop it on. I love the kind of paddle brush. It's flat on one side. And what I like about doing a subtle, like brown or something is it really can make your eye colour pop in an instant way. Just make your makeup really interesting but without being really obvious. And what's nice about this is because it all tones in, it makes it very monotone and harmonious. So it's not like the lashes are 
fighting against the makeup it kind of just softens everything up so it makes it a bit more whimsical a bit more lighter i do love the original it's nice to try something new isn't it interesting to try this just with um much less makeup maybe i'll do that another time too or, or probably on tiktok i'll probably do a quick kind of reviewy thing on it mm, not bad is it I think there's a bit of depth it's just a it's just just a point of interest i'm just going to run a bit more pencil in the waterline so all i'm doing there is just popping it uh, maybe not so great to do if you you know wear contacts lips to finish if you want to see what i've got on the rest of the skin there's another video um that's up already actually so go check that out boom just gonna soften the old lip balm I've got on. So this is the Vive Peached Lip Liner. I start in the centre, sort of blend it around, and taking it slightly over the edge to over my lip. You know what I'm saying? Nice. Then, so the reason why I'm going for peachy tones is that they sit oppositely, oppositely? Where are my words? Opposite on the colour wheel. I did have a colour wheel too, uh. but who knows what I've done with it. Oh yeah. So they're just colours that harmoniously sit well together. This is the colour pinch. And then let's do a little bit more liner. So you get a little definition. I tend to just stretch my lips right at the end because if I do it beforehand, it can sort of squiff the shape a little bit too much. Okay. I'm gonna do a little gloss to finish off. This is the Charlotte Tilbury Pillow Talk Lip Gloss. And I'm mainly popping that in the centre. I do love her glosses. And there you have it. Sephine, what do you think? Would you wear this? Are you bold enough to wear some colour? See, colour doesn't have to be scary. Colour is really fun. Makeup's there to play with, enjoy, and bring you joy. So be brave and try it out. Why not? Let me know if you do. Tag me in your recreations if you do, or whatever colour you try out. Let me know if you want to see a bit more colours, or if you've got any other videos you'd like to see, pop them in the comments below. I love reading them. I love chatting with you all. So yeah, that is it. Thank you so much, and I'll see you on the next one.